Hello, this video is titled Living in Boulder Vlog for September 23rd, 2019, Friday. It's 11.46 p.m. So, I've been working since like 9, I think I got up. And last night I was working until sometime in the wee hours of the morning. I can't remember. Um... Yesterday I got going on making the links. I, I decided to go to go ahead and go for it with the links with my timeline. And I've got it all figured out now, man. The key to my timeline is to is, is the links. Um you have to be able to move around, move all over, up and down, in and out, um, everywhere. And so um I have my the way that it's designed is I have it you know, like folder within folder within folder, section within section within section, but trying to design it visually on a visual grid. And so in the different UN sections, my timeline is like a complete world history timeline based off UN, United Nations, Division of Regions and Subregions, and um, the Wikipedia. And so um, I have uh, different pages or different... Uh, uh, UN regions with the subregions inside in 500 pay, uh, year segments. So you go in and then on the there's like uh, it goes across for all the countries in that unit UN subregion that UN yeah subregion and um, and so you want to be able to to link from one country the horizontal part of the of the um, Timeline has to be able to link across as well from one country to the next as you go forward and back here in time. So I'm doing it with the countries because I have them already fixed, the uh, modern-day countries, but I also have them, the, uh, the kingdoms from the past, which is super interesting. So if you, have a king if you have a kingdom, which most are, or a lot are, half are, that straddles a 500-year page segment, you know, now you can click on it and then just go to the next one, so... Or when I'm done, so that's what I'm working on. I've been watching videos on like Indo European and uh, different um, history eons channel, uh, extended history. Extended history is super interesting when you've been overdoing like more recent history. It's trippy just to imagine how there's like all these animals and they're just buried under a few feet of dirt, and you know. And, those are the animals that lived so long ago, millions of years ago, but that far ago, that long ago. I want to be able to imagine how long that is. I want to, I want to figure out a way. Oh, and I just remembered there's this thing I want to do with my timeline. We actually include timeline, um, human lifetimes, or I mean human generations. Uh, I should do that maybe now. Do a little segue from the pro project I've been working on, because I'm. A, uh, <laughs> I've only been working on the links for the timeline since yesterday, so hopefully it'll be done in the last few, next few days, at least phase one until I figure, you know, until I go in and perfect it and fix them, much, fix them. But um, but yeah, um, oh shit, I forgot what I was talking about. It was super interesting. But uh, oh yeah, the the generations. I think I wanted to plug that in. I'm going to do my own personal generation and then direct your generation of the <laughs> English royal family because you have um, an, an, an exact um, lineage for them, and I can do it for me too, so that'd be awesome. I think I'll do that in the world section. But um, um, uh, yeah, that's what I've been listening to. Um, yeah, I should listen to some more books. The more uh, brain candy, you know, the simpler, the less brain power I have to work to work, use to work, which I'm not using much now with the links, um, the, the more I can lend towards uh, understanding a book. So, And it's harder to hear a book auditorially than someone speaking, so I should definitely do some books, like on my website. With the computer reads it to you, like, ancient <laughs> Greek stuff. So anyways... Um, I think that's enough talking for now. Tomorrow when I do the video, who knows, um, you know, I'll still be working on the links, but hopefully, hopefully at the point where I'm individualizing, because right now I'm still pasting in all the different arrows 
because I had to put that in after I built the links there. I'm building my, if I had known exactly what I wanted my timeline to look like from the beginning, it would take a lot less time. But of course, I, there's no way I was going to know exactly how big it was going to be and what it was going to look like until I actually built it. So, uh, but yeah, maybe I'll be at that point where I'm, because there's different steps, you know, I added the, the images, the, uh, the images for the, you know, clicks back and forth now, but, but then I have to individualize which part of the page they go. <sighs> that's the next step. So hopefully I'll be doing that tomorrow. So, um, yeah, that's enough talking for now. Um, all right. Uh, talk to you tomorrow.